What's up? Today I want to compare two Joe Satriani signature amps, the Marshall JVM410 HJS and the PVJSX. Let's go. I'm going to do some talking now. If you're not interested in that and aren't wondering where this exotic accent is coming from, feel free to skip that using the timestamps in the description below. Now, I've had the idea of shooting these two amps out with each other for several months now, but I've been procrastinating on that because... Well, yeah, I've done a few shootouts. I've done a few amp shootout videos on this channel, but usually those amps had either very similar layouts or one amp was the star of that video, like in the um, Angle Retro Tube series of videos I did there a while back. Um, in this case though, both amps are the stars and um, their channel layouts are completely different. While the JSX is a pretty bog standard 3 channel amp with the only gimmick being the fat switches on the uh, two distortion channels, the JVM is a JVM, that means it's a spaceship. There's loads of buttons and modes to confuse the average knuckle dragger like myself and induce option paralysis panic attacks. The JVM has four channels with three modes each. On the Joe Satriani JVM, OD1 and OD2 are the same, they're very close to the same as OD1 on the regular JVM, but the tone shift button there gives you the mid voicing of OD2. Yes, I cracked and broke a guy code, I actually read the manual for this because I didn't want to look even dumber on the internet than I already do. Either way, in order not to end up with a 40 minute video that has an average view time of 4 minutes, I'm going to make some editorial choices here. I'm not going to remain on the clean and crunch settings for very long. I'm just going to briefly address those because I don't think... Yeah, those guys aren't the target demographic for these amps anyway. I'm not going to go through all the possible overdrive modes that the JVM has, and I'm going to stick with certain fat switch settings on the JSX here. Let me, let me briefly show you what the fat switch does on the JSX. I'm on the Ultra Channel and the fat switch is off. Listen to this. <laughs> It gives us a nice tight low end. I like the sound of the low end a lot on this, but the high strings, they sound kind of thin and stringy to me. I'm gonna switch the fat switch on. Now with the fat switch on, we get a lot more body. I actually prefer the lower strings with the fat switch off but the higher strings sound much better to me with the fat switch on. So for the sake of this demo, I'm gonna leave the fat switch on on both distortion channels of the JSX. Now let's get into it. In the green mode on the JVM, both clean channels on these amps are pretty similar. The JSX doesn't have a gain knob on the clean channel, just a volume knob. And in green mode, the JVM only has a gain knob. The volume knob is actually taken out of the circuit. So, so essentially they both have a volume knob and a three band EQ. However, the JVM does sound a lot cleaner to me. Sorry, I need to interject here for a minute to make myself look dumber on the internet than I already have, because at this point I'd kind of forgotten that the JSX has a low gain input, which knocks about 6 decibels off the signal if I remember correctly. And if you use that for cleans, then it's pretty even. The JSX is about as clean as the JVM. However, for everything else on the JSX, I'd be using the high gain input, so... Yeah, that point still goes to the JVM. And secondly, for some reason, my camera seems to have problems focusing on amps that have big shiny faceplates like the Parable one or the Laney VH100R uh, because it seems to have been focusing on the reflections in the big chrome panel on the JSX. So the knobs and the writing on the front panel, 
they're a bit blurry. I tried um, correcting that in post a bit, but I just ended up with an image that was blurry and grainy. So I just went back to it. If you're watching on a phone or something, you probably won't notice. If you're watching on a big television in 4K, I don't know, just squint your eyes when the JSX is on screen. I can't, I can't fix it. Sorry about that. Anyway, back to the video. Let's move on to crunch. <laughs> Overall, I wouldn't really consider the JSX's crunch channel a crunch channel. The gain is very low on that channel. I think it's on about two. It's really a high gain channel for me. It does crunches pretty well. Uh, the Marshall still has the edge a bit and it has more variety due to the modes. Like uh, we're on crunch green right now. Light crunch, crunch orange. Heavier crunch and crunch red. The boost in front that's pretty high gain already. Speaking of high gain, let's move on. to that. Thank you. 
move on to the Ultra Channel. <laughs> Check out the mid shift with or without a boost. Screw what I said, let's take out the first switch. Thank you. 
So yeah, because the JSX footage ended up being a little blurry, I edited some of the playing footage in there to combat that. And I was not aware of the fact that I play guitar with my face. I'm forever going... Which is hysterical to me. I look like a monkey with a stick trying to figure something out. And um, and secondly, the amps sound pretty different from each other, don't they? And that might be a little surprising at first because they're both Joe Satriani signature amps. But when you think about it, they're based on completely different amps. The JSX is based on a PV Triple X, if I'm not mistaken, which is a PV Ultra Series amp. And the JVM is, you know, based on a JVM. So they're, at the end of the day, they're essentially a PV Ultra Series amp and a Marshall. Also, I believe reading in an interview or somewhere else that Joe Satriani had actually planned to release several signature amplifiers with PV. Of course, we know that never happened. I read a rumor somewhere that the Butcher amp that PV released a few years ago, not the old one, a new one, was one of the uh, Satriani amps that had been rebadged. But don't quote me on this. I'm stupid. I play guitar with my face. So with all that in mind, it might not be too surprising why the amps sound so different from each other. One common feature that they do have is an onboard noise gate. And the noise gate on the JVM is brilliant. And I believe uh, that circuit inspired several noise gate pedals that were popular a few years ago. But again, don't quote me on this. This is just my hearsay. I didn't look at any schematics apart from the schematic for the JSX noise gate, which isn't a noise gate at all, if you ask me. I was wondering if mine was broken and it turns out that that gate is just two opposing diodes in parallel to the uh, noise gate pod. So if I understand that correctly, all that that does is control the amount of signal that is passed by these diodes. And again, if my understanding of that is correct, the opposing diodes would just block out any signal with a voltage lower than 0.7 volts if they're silicon diodes. So, so yeah, that's not a very effective gate if you ask me. All that it does on my amp is filter out a very slight amount of fizz if the gain on the old channel is super high and the noise gate is cranked. So, yeah, not really a gate if you ask me. Another thing that they have in common is I find them both a little tricky to dial. I've been playing guitar for 19 years now, which yeah means I should be a lot better at it, but I'm easily distracted. But it also means that I usually do not find it very hard to get a tone on a given guitar amplifier the way I like it. And on both of these, I struggled to get the high end the way I liked it. On um, the JSX, I blame the active EQ, which kind of threw me a little. It's so effective that at the end for tweaking it, I was sh just short of blowing on the pots to just get the last little tiny bit right. I can't really pinpoint what my problem with the JVM is because it's the polar opposite of the JVM 210H that I sold to buy this. On the 210H, I really had to dial the presence low and be mindful of the treble pot to not make my ears bleed. Don't get me wrong, it was a good sounding amp. And on this one, if you were able to see that the presence was almost cranked and... Yeah, I found the treble difficult to set too because it was either too little or much too much. This particular JVM is so smooth on top that I always found myself wanting more presence and treble and dialing it up and always kind of hopping over the point where I liked it. On both amps, I ended up getting where I wanted to be by dialing the high end out completely and just gradually raising it up while I was playing which is a trick I learned on the Gear Podcast, and it works. While we're at it, check out the Gear Podcast on Leon Todd's channel. It's quickly become one of my favorite podcasts, and not only because I was on it, in fact, despite the fact that I was on it, it's just very entertaining. It's, uh, it's a great show, so shout out to Leon and Troy. Anyway, which one do you prefer? Which one would you want to own? With the insane prices that the people want for the Satriani JVM at the moment, the JSX is likely the far better bang for the buck. But the JVM is arguably the more sophisticated amp as well. The JSX is tighter and more aggressive, but the JVM is more variable. It's a tough one. I preferred how the JSX sounded in the high gain recordings, but I preferred the way the JVM felt, how it responded to my playing. So you'll likely see the JSX on my channel again when I shoot it out against a PV3120 that I also have. In fact, one of them will probably have to go. I'm going to steal a segment there from Tone Wars. Um, yeah, and that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and uh, hope to see you again. Bye bye.